awesome. So, how, like, yeah, how'd you guys meet? How'd that whole thing go down? It was a Vegas store. Yeah. Did you tell it? Oh, I always I've been on the bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Max, and we, we had him for 23. Like the best part, the and it's funny, too, kind of is seeing that exchange. Like, they're kind of like, you tell it. No, you tell yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> they both, when you get them individually, whether they're writing up a uh, nice post on Instagram that you wrote about Jelly when he no. got his rewards and everything else. Oh, but anytime you guys are on and talking about each other, now I'm excited because we get to have you guys here and talk about it in front of each other yeah. like yeah. on the mic. Yeah, yeah for, sure. for sure. So tell a lie. No, okay, well, yeah. so we met at um, church. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was a good um, one. So he was performing with the Moonshine Bandits. He was opening up for the Moonshine Bandits at, at Las Vegas Country Club. And this I went... like a Fremont joint. Just to paint the picture, this isn't like... It's old Vegas. Yeah, mm -hmm. like it's an old downtown Vegas. And um, I went with a friend, uh, this guy I was dating, and he was there, and there was like 30 people in the crowd, maybe like 40 I don't Maybe know. 20. Yeah, <laughs> it was like nobody. Might be fluffing me yeah. up here. Yeah, it was bad. no, like there was nobody there. It was, there were so many not people in the crowd that he was at the bar drinking with us. You know, like it was like one of those yeah. things. Starting out jelly. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm sleeping in a van. Yeah. And when I met him, it was just like, I tell everybody it's the most fucking cliche shit. But it, literally, it was like my soul was like, there you are. And, like, he's not my type. I'm not his type. He loves Taylor Swift. Like, that's <laughs> yeah. his type. Taylor Swift? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All the boys are like, mm, Hard not yeah, to love Taylor. Taylor. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's just yeah. very lovable. First people that are ever like, yeah, Taylor. Everybody else yeah, is like, what? You know, <laughs> no cheeks on Taylor. No cheeks on Taylor. Yeah. I, think, I, think I, think I think she's a billionaire with a beast. She's very, she's very cute. Yeah. <laughs> she's a beast, yeah. for sure. She is our, our Michael Jackson. Yeah. Our generation's Michael Jackson. Yeah. She's just well, murdering music. Yeah, for sure. Um, So, you know, when I met him, I was just like, I was like instantly just like, who the fuck are you? Like, I have to get to know you. And then he was, you know, doing his own thing. He was, you know, had bitches in different area codes and I was in a relationship. <laughs> so, what year was this? 2015. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. And then I saw him again in October. So that was like August, September, yep. July. I don't know. Yep. August, it was August the first time yeah. and then we came back in October. Yeah, and then he came back in October, and I was just smitten with him. And then my ex ended up going to prison because I love to date felons. So, Wait. yeah, exactly. So I kind of am her type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, did, what did he go to jail for? Uh, drugs. Okay. Yeah, moving weight. That's right. Um, so, fucking um, Jay and I had, like, a mutual friend, and I was like, hey, give Jay my number. And so dude gave Jay my number, and he, like, started – Texting me and like calling me and like asking for advice for Bailey and stuff like that. Cause I think he had already planned on getting custody of Bailey at that time. Yep. And he was just like, Hey, I need to buy a little girl's bed. So I would like be in bed with like my cabana boys and I would like get out of bed to just FaceTime him and stuff like that. <laughs> She's laid up with some dude and's walking away. Like, hold on, let me go outside and talk to you. <laughs> no way. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So we just started a friendship like that. And then he just hit me up one day and was like, Hey, I'm going to come to, um, Vegas to shoot some videos and I was like all right this was like July of 2016 so he pulled up and I, I molested him am I allowed to say that word is that politically yeah, correct you can say whatever you want here <laughs> um and I pretty much I literally had to rape him though because fucking he was not trying to give I me any this dick. clip in case I ever found yeah. <laughs> just keep talking we've got you yeah, jelly we've got you wasn't consensual I'm telling you it <laughs> He too. Yeah. He too. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, he was like, we're like shit face drunk. I'm trying to like get it up, get it in, get it on and get it out. And this dude's like, what's your five year plan? And I'm just like, Did Jelly ask you that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Jelly. Yeah, for sure. I'm like, bro, who the yeah. fuck is thinking about yeah, five year plans? Van, brother. What are you? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to figure out my yeah. five year plan. What the fuck is in your bed right now? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So I had to fucking sit down for a second and I was like, okay, well, I want this. I want to build my own brand. I want to buy a house. I want to do this. And he was like, okay, cool. Let's do it. And I was like, <laughs> for sex. And we really, we really, we got married a month later and fucking we did the five-year plan. Like we literally finished it all the way through the, to the, the fifth year. Last thing was buying our own house. It was in, I mean, like true story. Yeah. Then we had to put a new five-year plan together. Yeah. We yeah. st we're still we're trying to do that. I'm like, what more do you want to fucking do, bro? Like, like take it, it is, over it, the is a, it is a wild predicament you're in right now because you are, you don't want to say peaking because hopefully it just keeps on going up. Right. Like, there's going to be new levels we hit. But, like, you've accomplished so much in such a short amount of time. Right. It's like, where do we go from here? Mm. It's scary. Mm -hmm. Stadiums. Stadiums. God willing, baby, man. Man, we were talking offline about how my dream is to do the last show at Nissan. Mm -hmm. That's, like, my dream. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Like, yeah. If I could get that last concert, because somebody was like, what one would mean more to you to play the last show at Nissan or the first show at the new stadium, yeah. at Pinnacle or whatever, whatever bank's going to buy it. You know right, what I mean? Right, it's right. like, what would mean more? And I thought about it. That was a hard decision. I was like, I'd rather do the last show at Nissan because mm -hmm. that's the one I went to with my dad. And mm -hmm. that's the one I took my daughter to. You know what right. I'm saying? So it's like, there's that history. They're like new memories at the new stadium, but all my, all my core memories are here at, at Adelphia Coliseum. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's mm -hmm. like, to me, it'd mean more to play the last show of the old stadium than the first show of the new stadium.